Staff from around the European Union are welcome in the NHS and essential for patient care. That was the message of these images on social media. But some are feeling uneasy about their position. OK, so you brought the son from Italy with you? Yeah, Gossier from Poland has been in the UK for 12 years. She's a senior nurse training new recruits. Here, a group from Italy who will go on the wards next week. She says the referendum result has made her think twice about staying in the UK. The thought did cross my mind if, you know, if things change and I may have to, uh, I may have to leave. It will all depend how, how things develop and what's going to happen in the country. Medical leaders say confusion over what Brexit will mean will make recruitment more difficult. There certainly is increased uncertainty which causes people to worry about whether the jobs that they're coming to are going to, going to be secure. Um, and we're already under a lot of pressure so it just makes the situation worse. Many hospitals are struggling to fill vacancies for doctors and nurses. Recruitment is a major challenge. Agency bills have been mounting. In recent decades the NHS has relied on being able to attract staff from outside the UK. Of doctors registered to practice here, 11% qualified in other EU countries and three other members of the European single market and 25% outside Europe. Nurses registered here include 5% trained in the European single market and 10% in other countries. After Brexit, the government could still recruit abroad or look for other solutions. We could negotiate an agreement with the EU which allowed the flow of healthcare workers into the UK on a sustained basis. But one of the real weaknesses in the NHS over decades has been the failure to invest enough in training our own doctors and nurses. And then we evaluate. That's for the longer term. For now, Gossier and others from around the EU feel there are many unanswered questions. Hugh Pim, BBC News.